His death shocked the state, and today Omari Varela's mother learned she will be going away for a long time. Cynthia Varela Casas' own daughter asked the judge to keep her mom in prison. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart was in the courtroom. Gabby. Jessica Dean, Cynthia Varela Casals addressed the court through tears. She'll serve 40 years after her family begged the judge to keep Varela Casals away from Omari's two younger siblings. That you did murder Omari Varela and knew that your acts created a strong probability of death. Cynthia Varela Casals sobbed throughout her sentencing. How do you plead? Guilty. She pled guilty to six counts in court, admitting to kicking her nine-year-old son Omari Varela to death in December 2013. This is what she told us the day of her arrest. I was disciplining him. I kicked him the wrong way. It was an accident. Now, two and a half years later, she sat crying as her own sister addressed that statement. I didn't hear the words that my sister said. I kicked him the wrong way. How could my sister do this? She since adopted Omari's two younger siblings and told the court how much they still suffer. They ask, Auntie, can't Mari be fixed? Can't God or the doctors fix him? She says Omari's seven-year-old sister talks about the abuse the kids endured. She talks about her brother Omari, that he was screaming for help. Auntie, I just want to hug him so bad it hurts. <laughs> Omari's aunt asked the judge to hold her sister accountable. Omari's little sister spoke for herself in a letter read to the judge. Mom is not a good person to me because he hurt my brother. I am scared that mom might see me. I hope mom stays in jail or that I can be safe. In the end, Varela Casals addressed the court. None of this was supposed to happen. I love my kids. And I thank my sister for taking care of them. She'll spend the next 40 years in prison. Omari's stepdad, Steve Casals, was recently sentenced to 30 years. Cynthia Varela Casals' attorney told us last week she didn't want to put her young daughter through another trial. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Gabrielle. The judge told Varela Casals she's not to have contact with her kids or their guardians while in prison or on probation.